Doros, willkommen in einem anderen Fragen's Video. Welcome to yet another exciting video, in this case episode 6 of my figure gaming video series. In this video I'll provide an overview of my 80cm by 120cm insulation sheet playing area terrain system. While in the past I traditionally used a 30cm square tile system, which has many benefits in terms of transportability and flexibility, I've always been annoyed by the joins between the tiles. The 80 by 120 centimetre insulation sheet terrain system is designed to overcome this or at least minimise it. By sheer accident, I discovered in my hardware store an acoustic pin board which was thin, light, strong and was provided in sizes of 80 centimetres by 120 centimetres centimetres. This is a size which does not align with my normal practice of 30 centimetre square increments but was almost as large as my standard 90 by 120 centimetre playing area. This is the board unpainted. The board, because it's a pin board, is porous and needs to be well painted. In this case I use two coats. This shows my board painted with all the roads painted in it. In this example I experimented with straight roads which in retrospect looks absolutely awful and I certainly don't do this anymore. This shows the reverse side of the board which uses a lighter brown based paint. This is designed for my brown based turf. I plan on changing the roads to allow for play along the long axis and also to make the roads look a lot better. But apart from that, at at this point I was uncertain if I should flock the reverse of the board. Transportation requires me to place this in the boot of my car and the bottom may be damaged while the card is movement, moving. In the end I did decide to flock both sides which at least give me two different um, playing area sides to use. Simply to make the board a little bit um, nicer I typically paint the edges. It's not required and does actually require a bit of effort, but it does make the board look a little bit better. You can see the board is reasonably thin and while flexible, it is nonetheless extraordinarily strong, which I find very positive. But of course, the main benefit of this kind of board is it's incredibly light, even lighter than a much smaller 3mm MDF sheet. This shows the board after the flock has been applied. This also shows the board with the turf on it. This uses a green turf as the base and brown turf is the contrast as per with my other terrain tiles. The key takeaway as I've indicated before is this this is incredibly light. I can easily pick it up with one hand while my 30 centimeter tile box would be far too heavy to easily hold with a single hand. This is the key benefit of this kind of playing area system weight or lack thereof. This shows the board from the edge. The board is surprisingly strong and you can hold one end without causing it to break. It is rather flexible so it will flex down at the unsupported end. The flexible nature is actually an advantage as it will always lay flat on any flat surface. As for transportation, while it's light you do need a car with a boot which is large enough to fit the board. This fits easily in the boot of my rather old Aldi. This shows the playing area fully in my boot with the rear seats down. In my case this means I can only carry a single passenger which is not really an issue as I travel off to my wargaming club. If you own a Fiat Bambino then I would probably stay with a 30 centimeter square tile system. If you live in the US where people often drive vehicles which would be classed as light armored personnel carriers by the Bundeswehr there will be no issues. This shows another view of my playing area occupying the position which my mother-in-law would normally occupy and as she rarely comes with me to wargaming clubs, not an issue. Once you've managed to transport your one or two sheets to the club using this terrain system you can start firing your cannon at your enemies without seeing any annoying lines in the playing area. Of course if you have two of them there will be one line that runs down the center. So this concludes my rather short part 6 of my figure gaming video series, in this case providing an overview of my 80 by 120 centimeter insulation sheet playing area system. Alle guten Ding, kommen zu einem Ende.